All right. So I'm going to actually take this one this time. Take a look here, please. Shading wireframe unshaded. Okay. So my last tutorials, guys, had this one, right? And I want to work on the one with additional surfaces. Okay, additional detail. So we're taking this rough ashlar, which is a stone, right? And then I'm um, going to get rid of the wireframe right now. Then we're going to come in here and I'm going to actually, I actually duplicated it here. Okay, so check it out. The easiest thing we're going to do right now, okay, we can apply a texture to it. So the automatic wrap for you guys, do you remember this guy, the T sign? Very simple, boom, T. Okay, so what it's doing right now, it's actually putting mirrors on all sides of it. And we're going to see what it's going to do. Basically, viewport, views. Okay, UV texture editor. And look at this, right? These are all the pieces. Okay? So, what are we going to do about this? This is okay. Like, right now, if you guys were super lazy, you can send this out to Photoshop and start brushing. It's going to work. It's not going to be a problem. Okay? However, um... When we start sewing things together, it starts looking a little better. Like if you had, let's say, on the entrance, a curve platform, right? But that curve platform needs to be in a, when you unwrap it, needs to be vertical, horizontal. And then, you know, you texture it and things will work. So watch what I'm going to do here, okay? See, so let's see if I can do this on the fly. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to make sure I'm going to right-click and press UV first. And there's the UV, right? Here's a couple buttons that we're going to work with. Take a look at this. Dexter. Right here. See this? Move UV shell. Okay. So now if I press right click face W, it's moving. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna select this guy here, the whole thing goes. You see what I mean? So what I want to do is I want to make these all like horizontal. Uh, I want to find where the bottom is. See, that's the bottom, right? So check it out. Right click face. See here? There it is. That's the same one. That's the face, right? So W, move it down for now. And this is the top, right? Check it out. Come on. Boom. That's the top, okay? So what I want to do is maybe take, let's say, this face plus this edge and make it upright, facing up, okay? So where is it? This is here. I want to find this other one. So that's there. Okay, so I have a problem here. Take a look at this face. This, what are you doing here? I said face. Boom. Uh, face. And I got a second here. Oh, yeah, I got to get out of that W. Okay, so there's the face. Now, if I move this, look, they're all connected. Not good, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, polygon, and there's a, there's a split UV business. And there's something over here. Take a look. Do you see this little icon? What does it look like? Let me just zoom in for you guys. What does that look like? Scissors. So usually that means cut, right? So what does it say? Separate the UVs. So if I just keep my mouth, my mouse over it along the selected edges. Okay, boom. I selected it. So now I'm going to zoom out, of course. Press face. Go to this little button. And then there it is. How cool is that, right? So now I'm going to rotate it. I'm not going to press E and do my rotation. I'd rather use this, the system that Maya has. Look at that. Every 45, boom, boom, boom. We're good to go. So W again, slide on down. Okay, so let me find this face here, this one. So it's this one. So I need to know which one's up, which one's down, right? So the edge, right click, edge, click on an edge. That's down. Okay, good to know. Back to this little button. Look how cool this is. W, I mean... Um, E for rotate, right? So I'm just going to rotate it this way. So now, back to face. Again, this button is your friend. W to move. Look at that. Is that cool? All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sew the two edges. And there's a really, really simple method to do. I used to like, you know, I used to weld them, connect them. Not anymore. It's amazing. Each version, things get better. This time, I'm just going to select the edge. The minute I select the edge, look at that. The adjoining edge is highlighted. How cool is that? Right? Now I'm going to do one button. And I'm going to zoom in for you guys. So again, we're using maybe three buttons all together. Check this one. I'm going to hold my mouse. Move and sew the selected edges. Awesome. Right? So there's our third button. 
we had the rotate tool we have this move to select and then uh, right here it says move and sew button done right so you have to be in edge mode when you're doing that okay so let me find another one where's this one look it's over there now if I press this <laughs> it's gonna go all the way there watch what it'll do now if I want to rotate this whole piece I'm in trouble watch rotate you see what it's doing it's not they're not you know they're connected to the whole top so we don't want that so what I'll do right now is I'll just come over here I'll, uh, I'll command Z that as well leave it down here I'm gonna go to this face and what I'll do is I'll do what I did before where's that scissor business boom you're done okay alright move that over oops W slide and then rotate one two three W down cool this one is together I think edge check it out those are the two right so now I'm gonna come down to face right here and I'm gonna rotate it again guys I'm just repeating the same tools I'm gonna to do this ten times it's good you're gonna memorize it. it's not bad by you know, by virtue of just repeating ourselves these actions you'll get it so right now right click again go to edge find the edge okay good we're in business and then I'm just gonna click on this one sweet right so I'm gonna do two more pieces so I'm lucky with this one check it out this one's on this side and so is the face so if I go to this button where it selects the face the whole thing E boom one two nice so I got another one down here awesome one two three we just got one more to do guys check it out so face what how do I get rid of this thing again how do I take it apart what tool do I use the scissors right okay so I need to come in here and see why oh check what happened the minute I'm pressing this right it's selecting everything right but you see this guy here sometimes you gotta get out of it so press W to get out come over here right click face if you're finding more than one item is selected that means this tool this tool is on but we want to be selective with it right so check it out now I'm gonna come over here do what you guys said scissors beautiful come back and select it rotate counterclockwise one two done come down actually let's leave it over here okay so I want to find out where this edge is check it out sweet so I just gotta go counterclockwise yes nope Ooh, baby make sure nothing it's not selected face okay now I can rotate it let's just go this way okay and now I'm gonna go to edge I'm gonna click on this edge and I'm gonna hit that sew button where are you this is it sweet not bad right so now if I come to this little button where it says move UV shell check it out one down here so I'm lining these guys up now the next one I'm lining it down here so I have no clue at this time do I know these two edges are together I don't know right now right but what I'm doing for the sake of this ac activity I'm just gonna bring these guys down here because potentially I'm gonna move these guys side by side okay so what we'll do now Garnvir, how are you doing there okay check it out edge where's the other one okay I gotta get look guys I'm doing this on purpose so you need to pay attention right here look edge I can't select it. Why is that? Exactly. The tool's on. So press W. Get out of it. Now go back to Edge. Awesome. Edge. Sorry about that. I have this uh, this on. See ya. <laughs> so we'll sew. Right? Nope. Not working. Let's see that again. Come back to me. Okay. So Edge. Why aren't you sewing? Pardon me? I'm clicking the wrong tool okay that's right excellent the sew tool is actually right there sweet check it out now I don't want to go up there to the tool what should I press what letter G sweetness this one G awesome okay not bad right now watch the next part here notice that it's on an angle however this piece is not on an angle so what I'll do is I'll go right click make sure I'm in UV and I am right click and just go to uh, vertex Watch this. I'm going to select the bottom one. This is the last thing, and I'll stop, guys. Check this out. Do you see this little icon here? Look how cool this is. The arrow down, keep it horizontal. I don't know. That's what visually it looks like. What does that mean? Boom. Come on. Work for me. I command you. 
you guys and now I'm getting more stuff I'm not sure why this should have been working to the left come on okay let me try this again UV UV let's try it this way UV and then bottom there you go so when in doubt right click UV again okay guys if it doesn't work so check it out now I'm gonna take all these ones here the bottom look at this row uh, of course the I am in UV I believe shift and then I'll use that little tool again sweet see how it just lined up beautifully that's a lot of work guys if we didn't have that tool you'd have to visually go there and do this again so I'm gonna hit it to the top there not bad right so I come in here W and I can like straighten them out I can come over here make it all straight like that so again visually this is working for me right so here we go good enough so I have the bottom and I have the top okay so if I want right now I can put these yeah you know what why don't we do that let's bring these guys in here so you're gonna be here this is the top this is the bottom right here slide it over oops come on all right how about I do it this way over be good to me there you go now I'm gonna resize this R for scale bring it in nope the other way W to move it and I'll just go R again just to touch more W bring it in here like that and what I'll do is I can resize this one that's the bottom W uh, R okay so somewhere over here and then I'll get this one here R scale that one and what you can do guys if you want to be super accurate right you can come over here and actually weld it to one of these faces do you know what I mean should we do that yes or no yeah okay so let's be perfecto so I'll bring this up okay this is it we're gonna end after this and I think I'm I hope this thing is recording guys I'm not sure at this point are we recording please tell me I am yes not bad 12 minutes this is good guys check it out so I'm gonna co come here and I'm gonna go to edge that's good right so so done let's find this edge here oh baby G sweet that's awesome right so if you want you want to make this perfect come over here and just go UV and then vertex take this and look more than one item is selected no problem right click UV and then select it look at that we're only moving the UV okay nothing new again slide that over sweet you know what I can take these two and R it scale it in a touch this is it I'm good to go now I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna export this to Photoshop and we're good to go I love saying that I don't know why um, here we, okay so polygons UV snapshot and I'm gonna keep this at 1024 for now I'm gonna save it on my desktop uh, desktop 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 I got a demo one okay I'm gonna go to this uh, pillar base 02 okay so I gotta make sure it goes into this folder save good to go I'm double checking it's in there awesome go to uh, press OK close now I'm gonna go to Photoshop you guys remember this one second one's in my recording so now I'm gonna go command open I do no say in Maya okay Maya's okay as long as I get date modified nothing saved uh oh how could they do this to me okay let's see what's going on here guys okay let's go to UV select everything object mode boom it's here polygons UV snapshot 1024 by 1024 ball bounce it's going to ball bounce really that's the other class demo one I'm in demo one P02 how about that save any errors okay sweet go to Photoshop and then command open Photoshop here it is sweet how cool is that okay questions on this it's good it's recorded I'll upload it the next one I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a nice detailed texture I'm gonna spend more time texturing with you guys we'll have fun okay thank you guys bellying out go